Greetings, my name is Max with Ideal Satellite Services and today we're going to be assembling the WS International Satellite Dish model WS9036. And this is a dish that, uh, this is the dish we'll be assembling today. As you can see it's one whole piece, very solid and rigid unit. Minimum of three tools. A Phillips screwdriver. You will need a 10 millimeter. I use a swivel head with a ratchet end. Makes it very nice to work with. And of course, a small crescent. Now that we have established what tools you need, we will go ahead and begin by placing the uh, reflector bracket on the reflector. As you notice here, there is an arrow on the bottom of the bracket. This is the top, the arrow's pointing down this will be facing the bottom side of the reflector. We'll proceed to install that now. Place that over the holes. Number 12 screw. Place it to the bottom of the dish. Place a washer on top and the nut. And continue to do that to all four screws on the reflector bracket and reflector. Okay, as I'm finishing up the final tightening of these nuts, I want to make sure to tell you that don't over tighten these. It doesn't need to be extremely tight, just snug enough where it doesn't vibrate or get out of alignment. Now the next step is to take the mask bracket. You notice that this has a uh, contour or ridges where it will attach to the pole and there's a tab on the top of the bracket. That means that is the top. This side will face the satellite dish or the reflector and this side will be the pole with the tab on top. This side is the top of the satellite dish and this is the uh, br reflector bracket. We'll take the mass bracket and insert that in between the reflector bracket and slide it down until you align the holes for the screws. Now the screws or bolts are the number nine. They will fit inside the hole. Proceed to put, in, put on all the screws on this bracket and we will be right back. All right, folks, I placed all six bolts, number nine bolts, on the reflector bracket. And uh, as I mentioned before in my area here in previous videos, my elevation is 31.6, so I'll proceed to place the bracket itself on the mark I placed for 31.6, and I will go ahead and snug that down right now. That way, when I place the dish on the pole, the elevation is already preset to the closest uh, mark of it. All right, so we've attach the uh, mass bracket on and now we're going to take the B mass brackets and place those on the mass bracket itself. You will need the number 11 bolts and their nuts and washers. We will proceed by placing these number 11 bolts through the bottom of the bracket this way. The next one will do the same and then slide the uh, bracket, B mass bracket right on Screw those bolts, place your washers and nuts, just like that. It only takes a few seconds. As I mentioned before, I like to drive these about half, the nuts about halfway down that bolt so that when you place it on the pipe, you're just about there. And that'll be quite helpful. All right, with that done, we're we're done uh, installing the B-mass brackets, number four is under the mass bracket. And a uh, little note here that these bolts may be too long if your elevation is like 31.6. I had to loosen my bracket so that I could slip the bolts in there. You may experience that. So we're ready to move to the uh, LMB arm. LMB arm or the number eight arm. And the way you do that is at the bottom of the satellite dish there's a single hole. This LMB arm has two holes on the top and one hole on the bottom. We'll take a number 13 bolt, slide it to the bottom of the dish just like this. And place the single hole on the bottom of the dish. Slip a washer and a nut, and we will then proceed to 
tighten this down, just snug it down for now because you're going to need to put the bottom cap on. That just slips on right now, best time to put it on. It's hard to put on afterwards. Then you'll take the uh, number five uh, accessory arms and place them on the side hole over here with a number 17, uh, 13 bolt again. Place the other side. You notice, by the way, before I continue, there is a long tab and a short tab. The short tab actually goes directly on the reflector and the long tab goes on the LMB arm. Now we'll take a washer and a knot, just like so. We'll spin that on, just so it holds everything from falling over. And then we will place the bolts here on the side of the dish and take the accessory arms, align them with the hole, put the number nine bolt on there, a washer and a knot on the inside, and you will have finished installing your LMB arm we will now proceed to assemble the 40 millimeter LMB clamp holder and the LMB clamp. You'll take the clamp holder here. You notice it's got a gap. This will be facing towards the reflector itself. We're going to use the uh, WS International's model number DMX51, sorry, 5021 LMB and we'll place this LMB facing the dish uh, and this will be in that direction like that. We'll take the clamp holder, we'll place the clamp holder with the numbers facing me in this uh, configuration. The numbers will be right here. I'll take the screws, poke them through the holes, hold them with my fingers, flip it upside down. As you can see the gap is facing the front side of the LMB. I'll start these screws just like so. Sometimes it's easier just to take the Phillips screwdriver and start that knot in just like that. Now I always preset the skew on my LMBs before I get started so I recommend you doing that. You can get that information from my website at idealsatelliteservices.com and have already pre-looked that up. It is negative 20 degrees. So negative 20 degrees will be to the right. So I'll take the little arrow and point that towards my the 20 on this side. And I'll be set for installing on the dish next. All right, that's sort of snug and we're ready for the next step. All right, now we're going to place the LMB bracket, which is called the LMB clamp holder, directly under the LMB arm. And that how you accomplish that is you take this slot here and slip it right into the arm, it's over the arm itself. There is a hole here on the bottom that you need to align. Take a number 13 bolt, slip it through. I usually just slip that through the top here like that. Take a washer and the corresponding knot and tighten it down again. I have to emphasize this needs to be snug. It doesn't need to hold the satellite dish up. Here's the final step. We're going to take the bottom mount and the uh, joint joining pole and assemble it together. Next is you're going to take the number 26. The run head cap screw has a little square cap on it. That will fit in the square end of your uh, bottom mount, just like so. Run that through on the other side. Make sure that that fits right in its place. Put in a washer and a nut. And now we will take a number 23 bolt and slide it through the bottom swivel point just like that. Take a washer and a nut. Slip them in there just like that. Snug them down. Put 
you don't want to tighten it up really tight until you get it up on the mount or base you're going to place it on so that you can uh, plumb this pole. If this pole is not plumb, folks, if this pole is not plumb, wherever you mount it, you're going to have problems aligning it. So make sure that you perfectly get this squared. Now that we've got that uh, fastened, we want to take the outrigger poles and place them on the arm pull itself just like so. Slip this number 23 bolt just like that. Place your washer and your nut. Tighten it down and you're done with that procedure. This has been the assembly of the WS9036 Silite Dish by WS International and it's been a pleasure to serve you once again. Keep an eye on our channel. We'll have more videos coming up soon. And by the way, keep sending us your emails. We appreciate your comments. And it's good to hear that they're doing good out there. Visit us at www.idealsatelliteservices.com. Goodbye now.